Hello, my name's Justin Hill. I'm a pastor in Skelmersdale and I'm a missionary along with my wife and son. And when I was a child, I grew up in church like many. But once my parents started fighting and then once they got divorced, I stopped attending church really. And my life was one of much loneliness and sense of rejection. I ended up living in a caravan in the back garden of my grandparents' house. And I really lost relationship with my mother and my father. I also struggled to find friends, even though I wanted them at school. I was very unpopular, struggled to make relationships. And I would spend evenings, at times crying in the caravan, in that back garden, wondering what life would hold, what was the point. And yet I looked forward to a day when I was older, when I was an older teenager, maybe go to university and begin to build my own life. But when that became a realization at 18, 19 years of age, and I took on the life that so many do, of drinking, I was heavily into gambling, I made new relationships, made new friendships at university. Rather than finding a joy and a purpose I expected to, I actually found that my mental health got worse, the de depression grew stronger, I had less of a sense of desire for life, and I actually thought, anyway, what can I amount to? What can I really do? And so I was really lost, hopeless, desperate, and very, very lonely. One morning, and the extent to which I disliked the life I was in, I'd actually found myself often back with my mother's house, whom I know I'd sort of a relationship with. One morning while I'm there at the house, one Sunday morning, the thought comes to me, go to church, just dropped into my head. And so I went back to the church of my young days as a childhood, and I was taken with the welcome and with the love that an invitation that was shared to me. And for that reason, I went back again a second week and a third week and a fourth week until I eventually responded to the call that one speaker was making for people to return to Christ. And my life went back to being a follower of Jesus now, it wasn't a quick and straight away turn and repent as we are often commanded to do. And I wish that it had been as I look back. I still struggled a lot with depression, with anxiety, battled many things, took a while to conquer gambling and other addictions. But what I had from the moment I went back and prayed to Jesus and said, I'm back following God, is I had hope. I always had hope, even amongst my darkest nights, which still followed for years. I always had hope and that great hope has been with me since. But God had more from me than just to have hope that this endless cycle of depression and anxiety would one day go away. And what I needed was some vision of what I could become. You see, I had absolute zero self-confidence and belief. And what I needed to allow the Holy Spirit to do, and eventually I did allow him to work, was to take my eyes off of myself, onto him and onto what he would do. And in the, the years in my later 20s and 30s, God has blessed me with the most incredible life to be able to travel to different countries of the world, to see fruit emerge in the lives of other people in different parts of the world, as well as to see depression conquered in my own life, great joy, great peace, and a great outlook on life as even in this current day where you know, many of us are struggling in this sense of lockdown. I am able to minister to people here, minister to people in other parts of the world, full of great joy, full of great peace and great excitement. Because I know Jesus. I know the one true God. I know real eternal life to know the one true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Hope comes the very moment you accept Jesus. Never again. Are you in a stage of complete hopelessness as I was as a young boy crying in a caravan? Ever since that moment I came, Jesus, hope has been my way. And he has only added to that over the years, peace, joy and abundant blessings. Thank you.